Good afternoon, dear friends. Today we will talk about what modern life is not possible without. Apart from the means of communication, we cannot live about transport. Every morning you see a lot of people are in a hurry somewhere. At weekends, on holidays, they go somewhere to have rest. To make our lesson more interesting, we will conduct it with the technology of flipping classroom. You will be in the role of young scientist who will independently study a new material at home when it is convenient for you. You will be able to review and listen to teacher's explanation as many times as you need. And at school, in class, we will consolidate our skills. We will start with a task where you need to divide into separate words one continuous sentence. You can see the sentences on the interactive board. After that, you need to read the form sentences and translate from English into Ukrainian. Your next task is to watch a video and learn the lexical items which names kinds of transport. I know you will do it great! Car Airplane Bus Helicopter Bicycle Police car Train Motorcycle Boat Now, let's check how you have mastered the new lexical material. You have to listen to the audio recording of the text Getting Around London, Exercise 4, page 88 in the textbook by John Acosta, Melanie Williams, English Language Prepare Ukrainian Edition. You will then read the text and insert the missing words. I am sure that you will perform this task yourself. Track 123 Getting Around London and Kyiv Transport systems in Kyiv and London are not very different, but interesting in their own ways. There are three lines and 52 stations in the Kyiv metro. The London Underground, or Tube, has got 11 lines and over 200 underground stations. In Kyiv and London, you need a contactless card to pay for journeys on a metro train. You can also use a contactless card to travel by trolleybus and bus in Kyiv. In London, you can use a contactless card to travel up and down the river Thames. In Kyiv, there are also short boat journeys on the Dnipro River. 
people in Kyiv and London can get on a tram and go to some parts of the cities. They are fast and carry a lot of people. It's possible to drive your own car in London or Kyiv, but it's very easy to use public transport. If you don't want to use your own car, you can get a taxi on the street. Drivers know every part of Kyiv and London, but this transport can be expensive. If the weather is warm and you have time, rent a bike. It's healthy and there are places in Kyiv and London to ride with no cars. Do you want to travel outside London or Kyiv? Then get a coach or a train or a plane. Information centers can tell you which station or airport is best for you. The funicular is not only transport in Kyiv, but also a popular and cheap tourist attraction. It can take you up and down the Volodymyr Hill. In London, you can travel on a red double-decker bus. They are great because they have two floors and you can see famous buildings from the top floor. Now I think you are ready to describe your best trip. Six, seven sentences. Right, where and with whom you went? What kind of transport did you use? How did you get there? What places did you visit? Why did you like this trip? If you have any questions, ask for help using my email or my Viber. I wish you a creative and fruitful work. See you!